we'll turn the program over to her, and she is going to introduce and start us off tonight. Missy Sherwood. Good evening. I'm Missy Sherwood, President-elect for the Dallas Board of Realtors. <coughs> and on behalf of the Home Builders Association of South Georgia, the Chamber, and the Board of Realtors, I'd like to welcome you to our meeting candidates tonight. Our goal is to give voters the opportunity to meet those candidates on the May 22nd primary election ballot. At this time, will you please stand and join me in the pledge of allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to thank everyone for attending tonight, especially our candidates. We hope this event will prove to be helpful when you cast your vote on May 22nd. At this time, I would like to introduce John Page, Chairman of the Chambers. Government Affairs Council, who will be our moderator for this portion of the program. Thank you, Missy. I appreciate all of you being here tonight. This is what makes our country work. And we're able to uh, speak to the candidates and the candidates speak to the people. And on behalf of the Governmental Affairs Council and the Chamber of Commerce, we welcome you. And we appreciate the Home Builders Association and the Board of Realtors in helping us sponsor this. I would quickly like to just recognize all the ones that helped to make this possible. Barnes Healthcare <coughs> Services, uh, CJB Industries, Coca-Cola, Mediacom, Prince Automotive, Rise Real Estate Company, the City of Valdosta, Coleman Tally Law Firm, First Federal Savings and Loan, and Langdale Bolton Law Firm. Let's give them a round of applause. And <laughs> in not recognizing our Governmental Affairs Council that came in tonight. Thank you, all of you, and the volunteers that helped set up the tables and the chairs and uh, helping the candidates um, to get their things set up. Without any further ado, I'd like to just go over a few rules that we will have as far as the forum. I'll call on each candidate in the order that they appear in your program. Each candidate will have three minutes three minutes to address the audience, and we have a timekeeper, Miss Amanda Johnson. Amanda waves so these people can see. And would you hold up a little sign? What we're going to do when there's one minute left, Amanda will turn this way. <laughs> the congregation does, the preachers need to see it. <laughs> so anyhow, we'll have a one minute, and then when the time is up, show them the next sign. It says you need to, the time's up and you need to stop. Now, um, we wish we could make it longer, but for the sake of time, uh, three minutes is all we can we can really allow um, because of the long list of candidates that we have. There will be a chance of question and answers after the program, but we will not take them during the forum just for the sake of time. But feel free to stay after all the speeches. If you have any questions you want to ask, we ask the candidates and, and their representatives and they will stay and around the tables and uh, mix and mingle so you'll have an opportunity to ask any questions that you would like. We really appreciate uh, all of these candidates that are participating here tonight. And uh, I'm going to just start right off the, uh, with the list that we have. And uh, beginning in the Lowndes County Board of Education, District 1, we have incumbent Mike Davis. 